When the EKU soccer team beat Marshall in an exhibition match on a warm summer day in August, no one could have known then that they were watching the start of an outstanding year for Colonel Athletics on the fields and courts, in the community, and in the classroom. The soccer team would go on to win 11 matches and advance to the OVC tournament finals for the second straight year, thanks to this header by Haley Kemper in sudden death overtime. The volleyball season began shortly after the soccer team kicked things off, and the Colonels beat a pair of West Coast schools, San Diego State and Cal State Northridge, to begin their season. EKU went on to win 10 conference matches and advanced to the OVC Final Four. Junior Chloe Rogis was chosen the OVC Defensive Player of the Year. Anytime you start talking about the best season ever for an EKU cross country team, you know it must have been special. The women's team registered one of the best seasons in program history. On October 17th, the squad earned its first ever national ranking, entering the poll at number 21. The two teams swept the conference championships for the 11th time in the last 12 years. After finishing third at the NCAA Southeast Regional, the women's team became the first OVC team ever to advance to the NCAA championships. The Colonels placed 23rd at the NCAA championships in Louisville. The KU football team opened its season with games against in-state FBS schools. The Colonels played well in the renewal of the rivalry with Western Kentucky before nearly beating Kentucky. Eastern scored first on a seven-yard touchdown grab by Ryan Marcouche and led the Wildcats for nearly three quarters of the game. The new football locker room and players lounge was dedicated on September 22nd in honor of the 1967 Grantland Rice Bowl championship team. The project was made possible by generous donations of $250,000 from Ted Green and $200,000 from Ernie House, both former EKU student athletes. A day later, Eastern Kentucky unveiled a statue of College Football Hall of Fame coach Roy Kidd. The statue of the man who won 314 games as the head coach of the Colonels now stands in the north end zone. That same weekend, the newly constructed east side of Roy Kidd Stadium opened. The project includes over 3,000 new bleacher seats at a concourse that features modern concessions and restroom facilities. Senior Jeff Kennedy was a semifinalist for the William V. Campbell Trophy, an award that recognizes an individual as the absolute best football scholar athlete in the nation. Fellow senior Keith Ruzak earned multiple All-America honors. After a strong start to the 2017-18 season, Elsa Marberly was rated as one of the top golfers in the nation. Record-breaking performances at a pair of nationally prestigious events in the fall pushed Marberly to 32nd in the nation in the golf stat rankings and 21st in the Palmer Cup rankings. She finished the spring portion of the schedule by becoming the first women's golfer from EKU to earn an individual bid to the NCAA championships. Another first-team all-conference season for Nick Mayo began with 25 points and 12 rebounds in a 73-72 season opening win at Rice. He reached several career milestones during the 2017-18 campaign. Mayo climbed to number eight on EKU's all-time scoring list. He is one of only six Colonels ever to record 1,500 points and 500 rebounds in a career. He also broke the EKU career blocks record. A. Queen Hayes turned in a first-team all-conference performance while leading the women's basketball team during the 2017-18 season. She was chosen as the OBC Newcomer of the Week nine times and led the team in scoring, rebounds, assists, and steals. The men's indoor track and field team finished off an outstanding season by winning the OBC championship for the first time since 2008. The women's team placed second overall. It was an amazing season for the Colonel softball team. Eastern won a school record 45 games, captured the OVC regular season championship, and won the National Invitational Softball Regional hosted by EKU. The team went on to the championship round in Los Angeles and finished third. Paige Murphy capped an amazing career with a record-breaking senior season, which ended with her being chosen as the program's first ever All-American. The men's golf team turned in a strong performance at the Hootie at Bulls Bay Intercollegiate, one of the most prestigious golf events in the nation. The Colonels went on to play second at the OVC Championship. The women's team carded a third place finish at the OVC Championship and has now finished among the top three for five straight years. 
The women's tennis team won 16 matches and won a perfect 9-0 in the conference to capture the regular season title. The Colonels then won the OVC tournament and advanced to the NCAA tourney. The men's team shut out Austin Peay to advance to the OVC tournament semifinals. Eastern's baseball team knocked off a pair of top 15 ranked teams, number 11 Vanderbilt and number 15 Virginia, and finished sixth in the OVC despite being picked in the preseason poll to finish last. The Colonels made a run in the OVC tournament and were one of the final three teams remaining. Alex Holderbach's amazing season was recognized nationally. He was a semifinalist for the Hauser Trophy, given to the best player in college baseball. He was the first OVC player to be chosen as a finalist for the Johnny Bench Award as the nation's best catcher. And he was drafted by the Houston Astros. Both Holderbach and Nick Howey were named Academic All-Americans as well. The amazing year for EKU's cross country and track and field athletes continued well into the spring. The men's track and field team won the OVC Outdoor Championship for the first time since 1957, and the women's squad turned in a fourth place finish. Eastern Kentucky is the first program since 2003 to capture the OVC season Triple Crown, winning the cross country, indoor and outdoor championships. Jermaine Coleman won his heat at the NCAA East Region Preliminaries and advanced to the NCAA Track and Field Championships, where he finished second nationally, equaling the best ever finish by a Colonel athlete in the NCAA Outdoors. After 39 years of unprecedented success, Eastern Kentucky University Cross Country Track and Field Head Coach Rick Erdman announced his retirement. Erdman concluded his distinguished career having won 73 Ohio Valley Conference Championships and 70 OVC Coach of the Year awards. With six OVC championships and three second place finishes in 2017-18, Eastern Kentucky University won the Ohio Valley Conference Commissioner's Cup for the fifth consecutive year. EKU student athletes were just as successful in the classroom as they were in competition. In the fall, the Colonels set a new record with a 3.128 combined grade point average and posted a new record of 56 individual 4.0 GPAs. The Colonels combined for a 3.11 grade point average in the spring semester, the second highest spring GPA ever and the 13th straight semester that student athletes have registered a 3.0 or higher GPA. In addition to excelling in the classroom and in competition, EKU student athletes combined for a new all-time high of 2,568 and a half hours of community service during the 2017-18 academic year.